UFC 144, Frank, Frankie Eggert versus Ben Henderson. Um, I'm going to get into, um, let me see, top three fights. And I'm going to start with the one Czech Congo Mark Hunt. Um, you know, first round, um, Hunt has uh, his base taken out early with low kicks. Um, Congo rushes him. Um, Hunt reverses the position. Um, the Samoan wants to come over the top with a um, right while Congo keeps um, the leg kicks coming. Um, coming. A left hook um, backs Congo off and Hunt follows with a low kick of his own. A counter punch from um, Hunt um, drops Congo but Hunt doesn't follow and allows Congo back to his feet. Congo is still in trouble and Hunt knows it. He blitz Congo against the fence and slugs him with a right hand another after and another. The fourth one takes um, Congo legs out from under him. Um, referee Herb Dean um, jumps in to rescue the day's heavyweight uh, from further punishment. Mark Hunt um, gets his third win in the UFC at um, two minutes I mean, excuse me, yeah, 2 minutes and 11 seconds in the first round. I think Mark Hunt just gave um, Czech Congo um, a one-way ticket to strike force. Because if, you know, Czech Congo, uh, if Czech Congo can't beat Mark Hunt, Mark Hunt is basically um, a brawler, a, you know, a slugger. The guy, is, the guy don't have a, a, a complete... Uh, MMA game. Um, Czech Congo. Czech Congo just ain't got. He just can't hang with those. He can't even. He can't even fight the um, underlings. You know, the C level fighters in in the UFC. So um, yeah, Czech Congo has a cool name. He has a great physique. Um, he looks cool. He looked like he should be a badass. But you know, this is not a movie. You know, usually. It, you know, it's the average looking guy that's the, the best fighter. And um, and the, the awesome guys with the ripped muscles and things, you know, usually get their asses kicked. Um, Chad Congo is one of those guys. Um, he may look like um, a villain in, in an action movie like um, Joe Rogan says all, all the time. But um, Chad Congo should not um, be fighting in, in the UFC anymore. The guy just can't um, hack, hack it. In the UFC, he 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 just need to go to strike force, you know, and that's even if um, Dana White decides, you know, to allow him to sign with strike force, he may be out out of um, the Sufa organization altogether. So we'll see. Um, what's next uh, for Mark Hunt? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what, who they can put him. Maybe. Um, Metrion or something I don't know but um it's only a matter of time Mark Hunt is not a real complete um, MMA fighter fighter the guy's just a slugger it's only a matter of time before he get you know um, he'll get beat once he start um, running into those um, elite fighters uh, Rampage versus Ryan Bader I'm gonna tell you just like this I'm not even going to go into details into this fight. I'm just going to say this. Rampage. Quentin Rampage Jackson. People need to consider. That a lot of the Pride Legends. Were overrated. They was, they was overrated. With the exception of Shogun. Alright. A lot of the Pride Legends. In my opinion. Have, has been found out. Um, not to be that good. Look at Wanderlei Silva when he first when he came to the to the UFC. You know everyone making make these excuses that oh uh, Wanderlei Silva lost a step and uh, 
this and that. No, Wanderlei Silva was never that good. He was over there in Japan in Pride, um, beating up a bunch of um, a little Asian men. And when he start, when he came back, and start fighting the heavier um, Western fighters. You know, when I mean by Western, I mean uh, people come from um, the Americas, um, Bra um, Brazilians and Americans. Um, start fighting heavier fighters and and heavier fighters from um, um, you know um, Europe and you know and, and things like that. He he ran. He's going to run into problems. You know, he he basically built up a reputation and pride of being his killer or whatever. But he was just you know he's not that good. Um, Rampage Jackson the same thing, um, with the exception of um, Rampage beating. What Machida in a close decision win? Is is a lot of people think that um, that Machida should have won that fight? You know, um, Rampage Jackson haven't really beaten anyone. The last person Rampage Jackson knocked out was what Wanderlei Silva um, a few years back. Um, he would um, Rampage Jackson barely beat Matt Hamill. Um, Rampage Jackson. Um, couldn't beat Ryan Bader, and Ryan Bader is 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 not that good either. You know, Ryan Bader is another guy that won off the Ultimate Fighter that's been hyped like crazy. Um, I know Rampage wasn't that good when I saw Forrest Griffin beat him. Forrest Griffin is an is another meaty um, ochre um, type fighter, and. Forrest Griffin just went in there and applied a little strategy and beat Rampage Jackson. You know, that's all you have to do is apply strategy and you're going to beat Rampage Jackson. The guy is overrated. And, um, yeah, he's a, he has a cool name behind him. He bought, built up a, a great reputation in Pride. But like I said it before, a lot of the Pride fighters was overrated. And I'll take that back about... Um, Shogun, with the exception of Shogun and Henderson, and Henderson, I still think Dan Henderson is a badass. But like, but you know, everybody else, in my opinion, opinion, in Pride, those old Pride legends are garbage, you know. And um, I'm not talking about Anderson Silva either, because in Pride, Anderson Silva wasn't a star, you know. He didn't become a star until he came to the um, UFC. Um, was for Ryan Bader, I have no idea. I'm not even interested in watching that kid fight. Have him fight um, uh, Phil Davis, I guess, you know. Ryan Bader, um, Phil Davis, um, or whatever, if they haven't already fought. See, that's just, that just shows how much I care about both of, of those fighters. Uh, Phil Davis and Ryan Bader is two fighters that's been hyped and overrated so much that I really don't even care who they fight. I, don't, I barely even watch them fight. As for Rampage Jackson, I have no idea. That's two losses in a row for him. He's not going to beat anybody at 205 in that division. He'll never be the champion again. You know, no. For that fact, I hate to keep beating up on Pride, but no Pride former Pride champ will ever be a champ again. No, none of the old Pride legends will ever be champs again in the UFC. You know, um, I say maybe Dan Henderson has a shot, maybe, but I'm doubting it. Um, I, I don't think Dan Henderson could beat John Jones, and I don't, you know, and I think Overeem may be the only one that has a chance of becoming a champion in the UFC. A old Pride legend. Becoming a champion in the UFC, and in my opinion, I, I think um, those um, those chances are not that great. We're gonna see what happens was um, Dos Santos checks um, his chin, and if um, uh, if I think what's gonna happen, uh, what, you know, I'm thinking that you know Overeem doesn't have a great chin, and I don't think um, Overeem can um, take. Um, Dos Santos punches. We'll see. Um, next fight was Frankie Edgar versus um, Ben Henderson. Um, I have to be on, honest with you. I didn't know who was going to win this fight. Um, 
Uh, let me see. First round. Um, I wrote down. Uh, here we go. First, first round. Edgar opens up with the inside kick. Um, some speedy kick, straight punches um, down the pipe. He catches a leg kick from Henderson. He um, he moves backwards around the cage, but Henderson twists out and um, drops to his feet. Edgar blocks two head kicks um, in succession and um, tosses Henderson to the ground. Um, uh, Hender, um, uh, ben Henderson is um, is right up again. He's tried to walk down the smaller champ with the range, finishy punches and um, low kicks. The champ um, takes kicks in in the cup, but he's ready to kick back um, to work um, seconds um, later. Um, Edgar keeps um, catching kicks, but isn't doing much to follow up Henderson left um, hands left and takes a short punch um, to the body as another um, kick is caught um, Edgar spins to the ground this time and Henderson um, is right back up Henderson lands a knee inside steps out of um, the spinning back fist um, Edgar tosses Henderson down again and again and allows him to back up. I'm not going to go, that's just the first round I'm going to go through, but um, Edgar won um, the f uh, first round, um, Hen then Henderson won um, the second round, um, third round, um, Edgar won uh, fourth round, um, Henderson and um, some of the uh, some give it in the fifth round some judges I think it was a split um, some gave it to no it was a split two judges um, scored in favor of um, Edgar or whatever and uh, one judge scored in favor of Henderson but um, Henderson is your new champ now at that um, division. Um, what's next next for uh, Frankie Eggert? I have no idea. But um, yeah, Ben Henderson is your new um, light um, weight champion. Um, good fight. Um, I can't wait to see these two fight again. Um, but um, yeah. Um, some already already there's people talking about that um um Edgar should have won won the fight you know so it's gonna be um it's gonna be a little a lot of debate in a, in social media um in social community community tonight but as for um oh yeah um Okami returned tonight. Um, I saw he was doing pretty well in his fight, and he just got caught, you know. Um, I don't know what's up with Okami, you know. Um, he, he got, um, after he was destroyed by Anderson Silva, basically toyed with him. Um, he, and he came back and with this fight. He was going to win a decision um, because that's what Yushin Okami does. He, he wins decisions. He's not exactly a real exciting fighter, and I think he just got caught. And um, he just got caught tonight. He let his guard down and he slipped, made it. He was probably going to win the fight and he just got caught. Um, what's next for Yushin Okami? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that's the um, end of UFC 44, 144. Um, that's my video. If you like it, uh, keep coming back. I will be making more. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, peace.